Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Excel. Today I'm sharing two easy Mexican breakfast recipes, some chilaquiles rojos and some nopales con papa and huevo. The ingredients for both of these are pretty similar, but definitely a different taste. Please consider subscribing before you leave and let me know what your favorite Mexican breakfast is. Let's get started. First step are my chilaquiles rojos. Really, I'm using both Roma tomatoes and the green tomatillos for these chilaquiles, but the color is more red than green, so that's the reason behind the name. These are the ingredients for my chilaquiles, and don't worry, everything will be listed down below. First, I'm starting by roasting my tomatoes, tomatillos, onion, chile serrano, garlic, which you'll see me add in a bit, and the chile de arbol. Now, the chile de arbol is gonna be really quick. If you leave it over the heat for too long, it can make your sauce bitter. And the amount of chiles for the chilaquiles I'm using was a medium spice for us. Feel free to start with less chiles if you can't take so much heat on your chilaquiles or just in food in general, um, cause you can always add heat if needed, but you can't take it away. I'm looking for this charred look on the tomatoes, tomatillos and chiles. I love having chilaquiles for breakfast. I don't make them that often because I feel like both my husband and I need to be craving them so I can make them, which in reality I don't. But every time I order them at a restaurant, it leaves me feeling that they could have been better. And this is so much better than any chilaquiles I can get at any restaurant, that's for sure. I like to cut my tortillas in half, then I cut that in half and once more. So I end up getting eight triangles from one tortilla and I do four tortillas for each of us for the chilaquiles. I normally take off the skin of my tomatoes, but I want the flavor from the skin. So I just add everything to the blender and I blend it and I ended up using only four of the chiles de arbol instead of the five. And add some salt. I added vegetable oil and let it get really hot and I fried my tortillas in two different batches. Look at how nice the chips look. They were perfectly crispy to my liking. I added some oil to my pan and I'm adding the thin strips of my yellow onion to saute. Then I'm adding my chilaquiles sauce to simmer for a bit. And here's when I add my chicken bouillon and taste for more salt. And I didn't film myself plated because we were really hungry, but I just added the chips to the sauce and coated them evenly. Then I plated the chilaquiles and added some queso fresco and I fried two eggs. And there you have it a delicious chilaquile meal that you make in the comfort of your own home. Moving on to one of my favorite dishes, nopales with papa and huevo, which according to Google is a puntia cacti. I have never called it anything other than nopales. Um, here are our ingredients, and again, everything will be down in the description box. Um, I grew up with my mom making nopales, and they always had chile, so I don't know any other way to eat them. Um, and speaking of my mom, she's the one who actually made the nopales and gave them to me. I know she boils them with onion, cilantro, maybe garlic. I'm not 100% sure, but the nopales have to be boiled first to get the gooiness out of them. So, gracias mom por los nopales. They were bomb. I'm peeling my potatoes and cutting them into small cubes, trying to keep them the same, but really that doesn't happen. I took out the little hard part of the tomatoes as well. Thank you. 
For this nopales con papa and huevo recipe, I am boiling my ingredients. And here's my little water break because I have been doing terrible at not drinking any water for the last few weeks. And here I'm just adding my serranos and garlic to the mix. I added about two tablespoons of olive oil and then I add my potatoes and I feel like when you're cooking potatoes you need a generous amount of oil but anyways I'm just starting to just stir those around so that they can start getting soft. I'm adding my tomatillos to boil at the very end because you don't want those to be in the hot water for a long time because if they're in there and they like explode, um, then they can make your sauce bitter. And then I'm moving on to my eggs. So just two eggs, adding a little bit of milk and some salt. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my ingredients to the blender so I can start blending those up. Don't forget to add your chiles de árbol. Once your potato is starting to soften up, you wanna go ahead and season it with some garlic salt and then keep stirring it around. And then go ahead and add your thinly sliced onions and then uh, saute those until you see that they're starting to get translucent. I'm just scrambling my eggs a little bit. I'm not gonna cook them through all the way, and once I'm done doing that, I'm just gonna put them to the side. Once my potatoes are soft, I'm gonna be adding my sauce to this, give it a good mix, add some salt, add my cilantro, add my nopales, and add my eggs. <laughs> I'm just gonna let that simmer for like five to seven minutes. Some of that liquid is gonna absorb and it'll be ready. You guys, look at how delicious this looks. It is so good. To drink, I'm mixing half pineapple juice and half guayaba juice, which is just guava juice like you see here. And I have my tortillas ready for my nopales breakfast. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you get a chance to recreate the chilaquiles or the nopales with potato and egg for breakfast. Let me know in the comments what your favorite Mexican breakfast is. I'd have to say my favorite Mexican breakfast is chilaquiles. Red or green, I don't mind. I just need a lot of queso fresco. 
And if you're new here, please subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up if you like these videos. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.